Forerunner 110 is GPS enabled, which means it uses GPS satellites to accurately track your distance and pace. You need to be outdoors in an open area so Forerunner can find satellites. Press page to view the locating satellites page. Make sure the face of the watch is pointed toward the sky. Once it locks on, the screen changes to the timer page. It takes about 30 to 60 seconds to find satellites. Just be sure to keep the watch stationary until you see the timer page. Now you're ready for your first run. Press start to start the timer and then begin running. Forerunner records data including distance, time, and pace as you run. When you're done, just press stop. The top number on the timer page is the distance you ran, the middle number is elapsed time, and the bottom number is your average pace over the last mile or kilometer. Now let's view a little more data from your run. To do this, we'll reset the timer, but you won't lose your data. It's all stored in your unit's history. Press and hold the lap reset button for about three seconds until the timer page goes to zero. To go back and view your saved run, press and hold the page menu button to get to the menu. Select history, then press up or down to scroll through your saved runs. Forerunner can save about 200 hours of run history. Once the memory is full, it simply overwrites the oldest data. You can store all your data and analyze it in detail using our Garmin Connect site, which is covered in another video.